Hey guys, we're still here in the lot. Vietnam and we may be in an area that you might not have seen before because we're not exactly in the tourist area uh, We are up in what they call district 10 right now And we're going up here up there to see a museum and maybe a palace. I think but uh, just look at the street scenes Look what's down below there uh, That is a pretty cool uh, I'm kind of liking district 10 so far. I mean we got we're up. We're way higher elevation the streets are a lot more level and now, once again, it's a little overcast, and that's intentional. Um, we have discovered by accident that every day around 12 to 2 or 3, they call for rain, like 100% chance. Uh, so far, it's only drizzled. But what happens is all the tours don't schedule anything during that rainy time, so that's when you can go see stuff. <laughs> There's nobody here. <laughs> Look, it's empty. It's empty. Uh, it's supposed to be open at 1.30. If it's not open, we'll just go find something else to do. Um, so, let's go look around. Oh, what's this? Ticket room. Oh, I think we gotta go over here. Hang on. Okay, tickets are purchased. Uh, here's another reason to love the lot. $1.86, and that is the total for two tickets. She spoke no English, so I had a little trouble asking her what was up there, but there's something, so we're gonna go. But we're gonna start right here at this museum, and it looks like we may have a tour guide. I don't know where he went, he just took off. So, um, somebody came out and ran back in. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, it's Americans, let's go. What's down here? This is what we see at the top. The Queen Palace. Quite beautiful here. And most likely there's a ticket, but I doubt it's very much. Oh, that is a cool tree with these red flowers hanging all off of it. You guys see that? Let me get a little closer. Look at these little red fuzzy things hanging off of it. We are in the Queen's Palace. Uh, you can leave your shoes on. They just got these covers to put over your feet. Trying to protect the carpet, I think. There are three floors here. And uh, of course, uh, first thing, what do I do? I go straight for the clock. Very nice. Westminster, I've had a few of those. Usually means it's a Westminster chime. This is a beautiful chime, by the way. So uh, we've got some skins on the wall. Oh, by the way, this, this place was free, by the way. Make sure I let you know all that. Looks like a leopard. I think that's a leopard or maybe what we call in America a bobcat. It's the Queen's Palace. I wonder where the king was. The king had his own palace, maybe? Maybe the king had a palace and the queen had a palace. Maybe they didn't like each other. Maybe she was like, Screw you. I'm going to my palace. Leave me alone. Now back in the time of 
if this really was the Queen's Palace, um, you can see the lake. Uh, and these buildings were probably non-existent. So she probably had a dead-on view right there to the lake, most likely. Was that the river or lake? No, I think it's a lake. I think it's one of the lakes. There's many lakes in this Dalat area. Anyway, this is really awesome. Yeah, the, the uh, well, everything here. She was the queen. What do you expect? So I've said many times in many videos, people come in, they look around the room, but don't look up. Always look up. And you'll see things like this really cool vintage glass globe lamp. Oh, we actually have a photograph. 1930, there's the queen. Leslie said this was taken in France. Very nice. Queen Nam. Well, I'll just let you read it. I don't want to mispronounce that. Fuang? Fang? I'm going to say Fang. Nam Fang. Oh, this is... This is her as well. This is the king and the queen in the consecration of a queen. So that's her, and that's the king. Yeah, this is more of a manly room. See how it's dark in colors? Dark with the, the wooden shades. We've got taxidermy, and over here we've got hunting. So yeah, this was probably when she would entertain male guests, or maybe her husband came out. I don't know the king. And, uh, you know, this would be the man in the room. This is where they would smoke their pipes. And uh, there's, if I don't think they had cigars, but they would probably smoke their pipes and drink their tea. And... She was very young, 49 years old. Yeah, she was young. And, oh, and they drink their champagne, drink, they smoke their stuff. Well, there's cigar boxes right there. Maybe they did smoke some cigars, just chill out. I mean, we're not allowed to touch anything, so I can't sit, but I'm going to stand right behind the chair, and you can see what they would see. So, yeah, so you're sitting here with the fire roaring. You probably got servants all around behind you, and you just stick your hand out, and somebody throws a glass in there with some alcohol, and you got a, another servant lighting your pipe over here in the other hand. Uh-huh. That's the life. Over here, maybe you got some music playing with this little old Victrola thing. Oh, that's not a Victrola. What is this? Yes, it is. That is a Victrola. Um, I think it is. You let me know if I'm wrong on that. It's got the symbol. I can't remember whose symbol that is. I think it's Victrola. So, yeah. You can just envision this one, man. Just chilling out with your buddies. Talking crap. And you all come in here. Actually, you probably go in there afterwards. You come in here first for your dinner. And they get the servant's entrance over there. So you get your dinner, and then you go over there for your smokes. I don't know. Never seen a napkin folded like that. That's yeah, that is a, cool. somebody folded that napkin up like that. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's how they did it then or not. And there's another building. It's probably the servants' quarters back there. Yeah, almost definitely that was the servants' quarters. So, yeah, she was young. She was the queen in her 40s. So, she, you know, she was having a good time. She wasn't one of them old queens. Couldn't get around. Eat your fa. Get your bon mis going. Go over there. Have a smoke. That's the life. That is the life. All right. We just went up the two flights of stairs. We're obviously in the bedroom. She's got... Paris. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I saw a picture. She had a house in Paris. So uh, she's got a lot of French stuff here. So yeah, you got the, you got the uh, servants lighting that fire up for you. Here she is at 38 years old. 38 years old. Oh man, check out her some of her dresses she, she wore in her queen hat there. Oh, she's got a little balcony. Awesome. Wardrobe. Some more awesome stuff in it. Look at the wardrobe, man. This is nice. Bed. You know, you're probably saying, well, everybody's got a bed. No, they didn't. In the 30s and 40s, we didn't have a bed like that. 
you probably were on the floor, most likely around here. There's another one of the similar clocks there. The phone. Only the queen can have a phone. Somebody was doing some embroidery over here. Hearing the clock just going tick, 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 tick in the background. Yeah, it's a good place. Okay, let's see what else we got. Can't go in that room. Let's see what's over here. Oh, we have another bedroom. So this would be a spare. Obviously, the servants would not be living here. So this is a spare. Now, who is this guy? Is he the king? Uh, Crown Prince Bao Long. Crown Prince Bao Long was here. For, maybe he stayed in this room. Oh, <laughs> I guessed it right. Crown Prince Bao Long's private room. Okay. A little odd that he would be so close. Oh, he's the eldest son of King Baldai and Queen. This is the son of the Queen. Finally, we're figuring it out. He was born in 1936. Went to the military academy. Went to Algeria. He worked in a bank. And he lived with a French widow for a short time. And he died in 2007 in France. So that is the queen's son. I was wondering why this guy was so close to the queen's room. It didn't make any sense. Oh, this is probably him right here. Yep, there he is. Bao Long and the queen. Cool. And that's the king and, the, and his son right there. Man, that king is decked out. All right, anyway, I'm going to move along. Very nice, very nice. Uh, another bedroom. Oh, who do you think stayed in here? We'll never know. There's no hint on this one. There's nothing on the wall. So I'm going to just uh, make the assumption that this was a spare. She had four other children. She did? I didn't see that anywhere. Leslie said she had four other children. So this could have been another kid's bedroom. You know, it's decorated. Oh, and here's yet another one. Now this is a big one. Wait a minute. So this is the private room of Duke Nujian Hu Hao and his wife. He was a landowner in South Vietnam. Why did he have a room here? Oh, he built this palace. And his family came here on holiday. And then he gave this to the queen. He gave this palace to the queen. Well, that was mighty nice of him. Here, queen, have my palace. Sweet. Well, I didn't know this was going to turn into a thing today, but there's quite a bit to see. Uh, so we're now we are outside of the queen's palace, and uh, I think you, we saw these inside. I already forgot the name, but this is the elephant god, the thing they pray to for uh, happiness or health or something, and. Um, That, of course, is Shiva. Anyone should recognize Shiva. We're doing some uh, little Hindu Hinduism here, I think. It's always a mixture. In Vietnam. Vishnu on that side. Vishnu. Vishnu. Probably also Hindu, most likely. Vishnu. How's it going there, Vishnu? And uh, now, if you saw my, my from Misan, you would have seen some some of these things that were about 2500 years old and um basically they would pour water on them and only the king was allowed to at least where we were only the king was allowed to participate and the master monk they would pour some water the water would run off of here he would drink it or pour it on his head or something it was all like holy water anyway who's this one brahma from brahma is a name i do not know because i don't know much about the religion brahma Okay. I don't know much about Brahma, but I do know this is a really nice area with some really nice structures. And so far, the Queen's Palace was free. The museum down there was practically free. This thing, yeah, the museum was great, by the way. Lots of good stuff, artifacts, archaeological, uh, just a little bit of everything. 
The area I'm standing in right now is free. And it's quite nice. Now, it said there was something... Oh, here it is. Uh, folk game area, an ethnic culture area. So I don't know what any of that means, but we're going to go find out. Look at this. Look at this. Probably agate. I think it is agate. Can you guys see that pretty clearly? It's huge. Agate. Hey, how are you doing? I think that's quartz. I'm not sure where we are or what we're doing, but we met this gentleman. And uh, I think he's going to unlock this door. Anyway, there's some cool stuff out here, man. A little Buddha going on over there. Yeah, he is opening the door for us. What's behind door number one? We're about to find out. That's so cool. Look at the chair. Wow, that was a nice chair. Oh my goodness. Agate? Oh. Agate. Mm hmm. Agate. You got so much in here. Wow. Uh, quartz. 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 Agate. 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 What kind of wood? What, uh,. Wood. Hold on, I gotta translate. Well, that was a super nice old man. He told me he was 53. And then he got down on the ground and he did a he did a push up and pushed his whole body up. Oh no no no, we got one. We just won. Just one. Thank you. And he tried to give us a souvenir piece of quartz. He had some stuff for sale, but he wasn't really trying to sell it. He was just trying to show his stuff off. Super nice guy. Um, you know, we found most people in Vietnam to be very nice, very pleasant, very helpful, try to be helpful. Um, we didn't quite, not quite find that same feeling in Thailand. It was a little disappointing. In Thailand, it was more, nah, just ignoring us, basically. And then when we did try to ask for something, uh, it was not forthcoming. So, uh, Laos... Uh, the complete opposite. It was Laos smell. Oh my gosh, they went out of their way to help you in Laos. Yeah, it was a giant gong. This is, oh, it's a, it's a gong museum. No, it's a long dong museum. Well, that's where we just were, so that's just a sign. Uh, anyway, come up here, y'all. It's practically free. And uh, gets you out of the city central. Add a little bit of traffic down there, and it's pretty nice. I like it up here. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and end the video. Uh, unexpected video. I didn't really know what was up here. I didn't think I was even gonna make a video. I just started recording. I'll put this out there so you can see it. It's pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna just consult the map, see what's next, what's in the area. Uh, maybe we're we're not that far from the French Quarter. Maybe there's something to do there. I don't know. Delat is an interesting place. Uh, it's not like a tourist town, although a lot of tourists come here. But they're not here for things to do. There isn't a whole lot to do. A couple waterfalls and things. But mostly here in the lot, you're here for the weather, man. The relaxed atmosphere, the weather. Just sit around. Go in the morning and breakfast and lunch and dinner. And just sit outside and eat. And, and uh, wow. And not sweat. We haven't sweated once since we've been in the lot. Awesome. So there is humidity here, but it's very low. And the low temperature, you know, it's just... The weather is just amazing. We've been all over Vietnam, Thailand, all over the place. We've been sweating for two and a half months. I ain't joking. I mean, we've been soaking, sweating, wet for two and a half months. We come here to Delat, it's like we're in a whole other world, man. Like we're not even in Asia anymore. We'll see you in the next video.